Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to show you best of exposed installer models for your Android phone. Uh, this is actually just very light uh, model that you can add it to your phone by exposed installer. Everybody know exposed installer, how to install it and how to active models. Okay, for, uh, for people who doesn't know this. Uh, the export installer, the, the, the download the link will be in the description below. And when you download it, just uh, open it, and you're gonna get your your root require uh, root permissions. Then you just install and update, and then reboot. And if you want to download the model and update uh, and enable it, just download the model that you want. Go to models, then check it, then reboot your phone, and it will be enabled. So that's it. Very simple. Today I'm gonna show you paste exposed installer models here uh, there are four I'm gonna start with the first one it's called complete action plus here is it As you can see here uh, this is a tweak for complete action using Android dialog as you can see here uh, this is the app the interface so symbol I can see here the dialog tab if you press on the layout uh, a theme, you can see the light or dark or the default. Uh, if you hit uh, here test chair to show what uh, your results is, like I'm having here the test chair, having a grade with 3 by 5 so easy and so simple to share, uh, it's better than the list. You can set it for uh, the dark theme, here is it. No reboot is required to take uh, the effect. You can change the background wallpaper. As you can see here, the blue now. I can change the font. Uh, that sorry, the text uh, color. Here is it. I can customize it as you want. Uh, here the layout. You can set a grid list. As you can see here. Uh, and if it is uh, so great, you're gonna uh, get the uh, options for numbers of great columns, uh, per, uh, port, uh, portrait, or landscape. And you can set it as you, as you want. Uh, that's uh, pretty much for a uh, complete action plus. Actually, this is very, very beautiful tweak for Android device. The second one is uh, live for paper in recent. It's written uh, LW in recent. Uh, no space. So, uh, as you can see here, zoom in to focus. Where is it? Uh, this is allow uh, for your uh, app switcher for the background. Uh, if you press on it, you can get use custom opacity background opacity. You can set the opposite of your background. If this app uh, was not installed, your background will be. If you set a live wallpaper, it will be black. And if you set like uh, this uh, normal wallpaper, you're gonna set it like this. It's just gonna be the wallpaper that you set it. But if you uh, set a live wallpaper, let's uh, see here. Let's set a live wallpaper. It's just gonna get a black wallpaper. But if you download this app, it will allow you to to set the opposite of the background of wallpaper, even it's a live one. Live wallpaper, see? Now the background is moving. You can set it the opposite here, just like the wallpaper itself. No black background. So that's it for the live wallpaper. And the opposite background actually is working for the normal uh, wallpaper, as you can see. If I set, uh, for example, uh, live, uh, set the wallpaper like this, and I go to live wallpaper, for instance, I can uh, control the opposite of it. The background is going to be black. Here is it. Zero. See? Very beautiful app and symbol. Uh, third models here is Nova Flow. As I'm here I'm using a CM11 
and it's based on the Nexus. So it will uh, the Nexus device, as you can, uh, as you know, it doesn't have physical uh, patterns uh, as my Samsung here, the Samsung S2 Plus here. Uh, if you go to some uh, of the location verses, you can get uh, here just the three dots for the mirror patterns. This is the uh, remove this three dots because you already have the physical pattern, so you don't have uh, to press on the screen. And actually, it's take uh, just a little bit space here, so let's remove it and uh, reboot your phone, and you will remove it. No interface it has. So you can see here the description removes the, the, the three dot menu patterns from versus location and the last tweak is trans, uh, translucent recent translucent recent sorry. Uh, what it does basically if you uh, this is uh, the translucent recent it just working for KitKat 4.4 .4. It doesn't work on Jelly Bean uh, what it does as you can see here in the app switcher, the KitKat will have a black status bar. The way it does, this is, does the transparency take it to the zero. So no black status bar in the app switcher, just transparent as the launcher it is. So that's it, very simple. Actually, these uh, tweaks are very simple. Doesn't uh, affect on the performance of the phone just so easy just so beautiful actually I found them and so important for our phone so that's it guys this was my video don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more of my videos peace